hey friends welcome to my youtube channel today i've decided to share with you my recipe for preparing mandazis i need self-raising flour a quarter cup of sugar prestige margarine or you can use blue band i have a lemon juice i'm also going to use a pinch of salt a glass of warm water and lemon zest okay so let's start by pouring our wheat flour in a basin the reason as to why i'm doing this is to remove any lumps and to allow my wheat flour to be you know to be so light and without any lumps You can as well use your hands. So the next thing I'm going to add is this sugar. So this is the point where I'll add in the salt. So guys, I'm done kneading. I've already covered um, the dough with, I've already covered the dough with the clean, clean film and a warm cloth on top. So yeah, I'll give that 20 minutes so that the gluten can activate and do its thing. Uh, then I'll start preparing the mandazis. So guys, I'm just sitting here on my bed. I'm waiting for my dough to, like the gluten to activate, but I think it's almost, it has been, it's actually almost 25 minutes since I covered it with clean film and a warm cloth. I've already washed my utensils. I feel like anytime I'm cooking something that I'm not used to cooking, like I always dirtify a lot of utensils. If you only saw how many utensils I had in my sink, eh, you would have thought Niza from Jana. But anyway, I'm done cleaning my utensils. My sink is clean. My kitchen area is clean. So the only thing that is on my double burner is two sufurias one for rice and the other one is for the cabbage so yeah that's what i had for dinner yesterday so i want to show you like the way i had so many utensils you wouldn't even imagine like i had so many so i just want to show you because i can just see them from here they're just here opposite my bed so guys here are the utensils can you see the way there were so many but anyway i'm done cleaning them i'm also going to use my chopping board and this rolling pin to prepare the dough because i don't have a surface area in my kitchen like where i can a countertop let me say a countertop where i can 
prepare my dough. Unfortunately, I feel so bad for that. So I'll just use this TV um, table. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use, guys. So let's see how the dough looks like. So let's see how the dough look, looks like because it's it has been more than 20 minutes for sure. Yeah, I think it's now okay. So yeah, I'll just use that. I'll just use these things to prepare the dough. I don't know, I put, no, I can't put the cooking oil right now. So let me just do this. So at this stage, I need um, a chopping board or a surface to do my dough. A rolling pin, some flour, the one that I've just used to prepare the dough. A knife to cut the dough. And the dough itself, guys, let me show you. So that's the dough. This is just the cling film that I had used to cover my dough with, okay? So yeah, let's do this, guys. I want to put the oil on fire so that it can be getting hot as I'm doing this. Yeah, let me do that actually. So guys, I'll wait for the cooking oil to be ready. I'm trying to adjust the heat so that by the time the, the oil is getting ready, I'll be done cutting the dough into the shape of mandazis. So at this stage, it's where you'll determine where, whether you want your mandazis to have a lot of flesh inside or less flesh inside. The thick the dough is, the more flesh it will have inside. But the thin the dough is, the less it will have the, the less flesh it will have inside if you can get me i i mean i don't want the flesh to be a lot inside my mandazi so i'll just roll this just ensure that the size is okay I'm preparing a place where I'll be putting my mandazis once they are ready. So I'm just going to use that, uh, this bowl that has, I'm going to use this bowl that has holes. You know, just using um, <laughs> something new in my kitchen because it's new. I bought it from Kamukunji. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it. It's my previous video actually. So yeah, the servets are enough now. If you want to know that your oil is ready for you to dip in your dough, you just you can add a little flour. If you see bubbles, just know it's ready. So let's add our dough. See that? See that, guys? See that? So that's what I'm using to turn the mandazis. The first round is up, so let me go prepare others, then come cook them. Imagine I've had to put off the fire 
because the oil was getting too hot and I've not done the other part so let me go finish then come just cook them cook all of them at once